hello everyone welcome back to today's tutorial this is ERD stitches in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to draft an eight pieces uh, skirt using the pattern approach to it we want to draft an eight pieces skirt the first thing that we need to do is to draft a basic skirt I believe all of us know how to draft a basic skirt so you have to work with a basic skirt let's assume that you are drafting a basic skirt that the waist is a is a 34 inches 34 inches and the hip is 40 inches so there's something I want to explain to you here this hip is for both and the front the for both front and the back and when you look at the woman's stature very well you will agree with me that the back and the front hip is not the same the back is where the butt is allocated and is supposed to be bigger than the front the front is flat while the back is the one that accommodates the butt so in that case we have to divide this 40 to get the front hip and the back hip and how do we do that it's simple what you need to do is the front hip let's assume we are going for the front hip now it's equals to the total hip that is th total hip over two plus one or 1.5 inches so this total hip th is total hip so total hip is 40 that is what we have here when you divide 40 by 2 by 2 you will get 20 then you will add plus one or one and a half to it so the question now is how do you know when to add one or one and a half to it if the difference between the waist and the hip of your client is up to six inches you add one and a half if it's from five inches below you add one when you look at this now the difference is six inches so we are going with one and a half so what we have now is 20 plus 1.5 is equals to 21.5 this is for the back hip so how do you get this front hip now it's very simple to get the front hip is F, the front uh, front hip is F H. This is for the back hip. Is equals to total hip over two minus one or one point five. Total hip is forty. Divide by two is twenty. Minus one is nineteen. 20 mi minus 1.5 is 18.5 but you don't need to go through this route to get this the simple thing you need to do since i've gotten your back hip at 21.5 you will do 40 minus 21.5 you just get your front hip of 18.5 so now the back hip we are working with now is back hip is 21.5 while front hip is 18.5 so now let's get started if we're having a basic skirt of this now so what we we'll do you know that you start by putting your fabrics on fold we are not going to use the total length for this lecture so that you will see what i'm doing very well if i decide to use the total measurements you may not see all that i'm doing but follow what i'm doing you will understand it you will first put your fabrics on fold let's assume that this is the waist line remember we have gotten our both front and back hip not the waist when you look at the waist of a human being too you will see that the front is bigger than the back but when we do the calculation the difference is not much so that's why we will just leave it like that so now waist divide by four we have 34 as a, for our waist we have 34 for the waist 
34 divided by 4 will simply give us 8. So that means the front, uh, sorry, 34 divided by 4 is 8.5. So now that we have put our fabric on fold, we are now drafting the front. We are drafting the front. So that 8.5 now is into four pieces. So we are inputting two in, in the front pattern. That's what it means. And we have folded our paper like this for the front. So what would it means, because our fabric is on fold, we put our 8.5 from here to somewhere. Let's assume that this is our 8.5. Now, the next thing that we are going to do now is to the hip. Remember, our front hip is 18.5 divided by 2 because it's, we are working on the front and the paper is on fold. That's why we are dividing by 2. So 18.5 divided by 2 is 9 and quarter. So first you have to allocate the distance from the waist to the hip. It can be 8 inches, 7 inches, 9 inches, depending on the nature, the body structure of your client. So let's assume that the distance from our waist to hip is 9 inches and we are taking it at this point. This is the 9 inches. Now we have divided 18.5 by 2 and it's giving us 18 point quarter. 18 and quarter, uh, 9 and quarter. So we put our 9 and quarter here. Right, so the next thing now is to now curve this to meet the nine and quarter. We have gotten the hip curve. Now, the next thing that you do is your knee. How do you determine your round knee measurement? There is a formula for that also. To get your round knee measurement is your hip minus six inches. Whatever you have as your hip, round hip measurement, you might not six inches or let's say five inches from it, but you can go with six inches. Six inches is okay. But if it's a stretchy material, you go with seven to eight inches, depending on how stretch. So depending on how stretchy the material is, you can go from seven to eight inches. Now, we are doing, our round hip is 40 inches. So 40 minus 6 will give us 34. So 34 divided by 4. Because we are dividing it randomly, both front and back. So it will give us 8.5. So now, this is the full, the knee measurement, knee of this uh, person. So here now we, we put our, 8.5 here. Let's assume this is the point of the 8.5. So what we'll do now is to bring this one this way to meet the 8.5 point. This is the basic sketch, right? Now, this knee now is maybe on the kneecap. And when you're doing a PC sketch, you're not supposed to take your measurement on the kneecap. That is where the uh, down leg join with the upper one where you can bend, that is the kneecap. So if you put it there, you cannot be able to work with that skirt. So what do you do now? You go up from this kneecap now, you go up with two or three inches. Let's assume this is our two or three inches. Now, you have to go up. This is where your flare will start from. Now, now that we are done drafting the basic skirt, the next thing we will do now is to cut it out. This is for the front, remember. Now that we are done drafting, we'll cut out. We, we are not cutting out from the full length. Remember we went up by two or three inches here. Yeah. So we are cutting from this point, this way. Then we'll now cut from here. Now, this is our front uh, pattern. We are going now to the drafting of the front pattern of the eight pieces skirt. Okay, now this is the basic front of our skirt. 
So now we want to turn it to a piece, eight pieces square. That means this front now is going to be divided into four because in an eight pieces square, we have front panel at the four panels at the front and four panels at the back. So we are going to divide this into eight and uh, four panels, the front now. So how do we go about that? Remember, okay, now to draw the flay, what we need to do is this our knee. We just get the midpoint of this knee and divide it to the waist. Let's assume this is the midpoint. So what we'll do is to put our ruler on it this way remember we are dividing into four to get our panel so we divide put our ruler this way and we'll now cut it out so now that we have gotten this we have divided it into four that is the side we have two pieces see these two pieces this front now we are going to slit it into two we put our ruler this way our scissors this way so i slit the front into two what it means is that this is watch this is what we will have for the front panel right have you seen it now it's remaining to get the flay so now let's work on the flay so what we need to do now is to get our flay to our fabrics. Remember all this thing, we didn't put allowance on it. So when we get our fabrics this way, we determine how full you want the hemline to be. It can be 15 inches to 20 inches, depending on how full you want it to be worn and the volume of fabrics you have. So now, when you have gotten the fullness of your fabrics, you fold it this, let's assume this is the fullness of our fabrics now. So we'll get the mid of this fullness of the fabrics. This, the mid of this. we we'll get the middle. Let's assume this is the middle of it. So we'll get, let's say we're working with the front panel. This is our front panel that we have cut at. we we'll also get the middle of this front panel and make sure that the middle of this front panel match with this middle of the hem the fullness of the distance so once we have gotten the middle the middle of the two to match together the next thing we we'll do we we'll put our ruler this way and put it this way to get our flame this is our flame now but we are not yet done so now remember this is the middle what we need is only half inch you put your half inch allowance this way for the sewing also do the same this way because it's the middle you only need the half inch for the sewing so after putting your half inch on both sides to the hemline the next thing you know that your hemline you put folding allowance of like one and a half inch this way folding allowance so what you will do is that you come in here and cover it to be like this so that you will not have a pointed edge you see what I've done? So the next thing we'll do now is to cut this out. This is our center front pattern, right? Now I'm going to cut it out. Okay, now I've gotten the two center panels. This is the two center panel because I, I put the fabric on fold. Now we are going to cut the side of the front, the two sides of the front. That is this one. We are going to cut out this one now. So this, we do the same thing we did at the front panel. We just put our fabrics on fold again. Put our fabrics on fold again. Determine the, the fullness of the hemline. We determine the fullness. Let's assume that from here to here is the fullness. Then th that is the folding allowance, and this is where our length ended. So what we'll do is that we determine the mid of this line. Also, we'll now put our side pattern, side uh, uh, pattern this way. 
determine we also determine the mid of this place we match it to the mid of the m this way once you have gotten the mid you put your straight ruler and do it um add your flay this way put your straight ruler and your flay this way now we have done doing that but we are not yet done this side is the side look at it where the hip is are you seeing the curve here you will put like one and a half inch sewing allowance this way one to one and a half inch sewing allowance on this hip side this way then on this inner side that you join to the center part panel you put half inch on it this way we also curve here also curve here you see this is our side so the next thing we are going to do now is also cut it out okay now we are done cutting it out this is the two center panel this is the side panel of the pieces kit see the hip here this is the second side panel so this is what our front uh, this thing our front uh, pieces look like now this is the front pieces remember we didn't take any measurement so that's why you see it's not aligning together but this is what it will look like look at the shape of the hip at the side and this is the center now that we are done with the front panel now the next thing we'll do is the back panel 